Hi, I'm Jessica Banks. We're here in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. I'm the founder of Rock Paper Robots. We specialize in taking traditionally static objects and transforming them into platforms of expression and enhanced utility. You know, this initially started with kind of art projects where I wanted to say, okay, now I, I have all this physics background and I understand how to build things, so how can I really convey physics principles in objects? I think the first step in bringing an idea to life in, the, in a tangible way is to make a bit of a mess. And so, you know, get you know, a bunch of materials, get your hands dirty, and just start. And there are a million different prototyping things now to work with. There are, are great rapid prototyping tools and so many different materials, but anyone could start with Legos. So for me, business is a bit of an engineering problem for life and I approach it sort of simil similarly. So I would say if someone has an idea and a prototype or, or something that they wanted to make and they want to now see um, if this is a viable product in, in the market, that there are so many tools now out there to be able to understand and test if people like what you've made. You know, first, show people what you've done, ask people to use it, ask people to work with it, watch people when they interact with what you make. Basically, when I start to have an idea about something, I, um, I do drawings, I play with Legos, I start with whatever little objects, easy things that I can get my hands onto to just put something into the world. And so I can understand kind of any sort of the physics of, of the things. I do a lot of work on the computer also, and so then try to take, you know, in stages, um, the kind of different parts of the design into 3D models. I think it's important psychologically for people to um, actually touch things and actually feel that they have created something. There's something sublimely beautiful about the ability to create something that you've never seen before or something from nothing. And you can't imagine what you can't imagine. And that is mind-blowing. I think there's another really important part of being able to make things, which is if you look at an object, every, every line, every curve has either been an actual decision or a mistake. And to start to look at the world and, and objects as these systems of, of kind of people's mental process is, is pretty cool.